Hi, I'm Dan from Camsys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up the MagicQ PC Wing Compact to the MagicQ software. So, the PC Wing gives you your 10 physical playback faders, encoders, some useful programming buttons, and it's got two universes of DMX output on the back as well. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how to set up the driver on a Windows PC. So, first we need to connect the USB, like so, and connect the PowerCon, and power it on via the power switch on the back. And then you can see once it powers on, the S keys are going to start counting up on the wing one by one. And once they get to number 10, they're going to start flashing to show us that it's not currently connected to the MagicQ software. So I need to open up Device Manager on my PC. So I'm going to search for Device Manager and open that up. And then it should appear under Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Um, it will sometimes appear under MagicQ PC Wing, but sometimes it might just appear under Universal Serial Converter, like we have here. If you're unsure what it's appearing under, you can unplug the wing and replug it to see what disappears and reappears from the list here. So I'm going to right click on this and go Update Driver, and browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer, and go Have Disk, Browse, and we need to browse to this PC, C Drive, Program Files, Campus Limited, Magic Q PC, Magic Q Wing Drivers, PC Wing Compact, and the folder in there. And then it's this file here called FTDI Bus. I'm going to open that up and go OK and Next. And now it says Windows has successfully updated your drivers. So I'm going to close that and close Device Manager and open up the MagicQ PC software. Once the MagicQ PC software opens, you can see the wing has stopped flashing, it's connected to the MagicQ PC software, and we can also tell it's connected because up the top left here next to where it says MagicQ PC, it doesn't say demo mode, because the MagicQ PC wing removes the software from demo mode, so you get restricted features such as the use of timecode and full screen execute window. To set this up in the software itself, we need to go to Setup, View Settings, Ports, and on a Windows PC, we need to ensure Magic Q Wings and Interfaces is set to Yes Auto DMX. If we're on a Mac, we need to set this to FTDI plus VCP Auto DMX, and there's no additional driver set up on a Mac either, we just need to set this one option, and the wing should connect and work. So on Windows PC, I need to say Yes Auto DMX like so. And then to set up the DMX outputs, we need to go to View DMX IO. And this one I've done already, I've set Universe 1 to MQ Wing as the out type, and the status is set to Enabled. So I'm just going to use Universe 1 in this case, if I wanted to set up the second universe as well, I'd set that up in the same way. So if I connect up my fixture here to Universe 1, like so, I've already patched this fixture, it's ready to go, and I've got pre-recorded queue here. I can activate that, like so. And we can see our PC wing is connected and working with this fixture via Universe 1 on there. 